for this band that the university performing arts, we shall have the champion leaders. You can see that the champion leaders us. I mean, remain standing. <laughs> the chaplain will lead us in the opening prayer. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is he, this king of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the king of glory. Almighty God, we thank you for bringing us to this point in time, to this place. Thank you, God Almighty, for the gift of life and good health and for gathering us here together for this function. We thank you for the government of Uganda and we pray your blessing upon your servant, our president, His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, and all those who serve with him in the executive and the different organs of government. We thank you for this institution, and we acknowledge that you, God Almighty, from one man you made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth, and you marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands, that we may seek you. So Father, we thank you for this new season in which your servant, Professor Eli Katunguka Wachaya, comes in to serve another term of office as vice chancellor. We know that you have appointed him for a purpose. You have gathered us to witness this installation for a purpose. We pray that your blessing will be upon this function. Your blessing will be upon your servant as he serves in the position you've appointed him. And your blessing will be upon this university in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Now you can sit. And then uh, the Chancellor uh, shall constitute the special assembly. Thank you. <coughs> By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I constitute this special assembly into the installation ceremony of the third vice chancellor of Kiambogo University. Thank you very much, uh, the chancellor. Now the assembly is constituted. We will have uh, the deputy vice chancellor in charge of financial administration. guest of honor, the director for higher education representing the first lady and minister for education, Mr. Chancellor Sir, our former Chancellor Professor Tebufu, the chairperson of council represented by the vice chair of council Senior Council Lurega, members of Council of Chambogo University, <laughs> members, members of the University Senate, members of top management, vice chancellors here present from other universities, invited guests in your distinguished capacities, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a special day for this university. Special day, Mr. Chancellor Sir, 
because you walk in here for the first time as our third chancellor. So we warmly congratulate you and welcome you to these grounds. It is also a special day, Mr. Chancellor Sir, because you perform your first function here in this university on the 1st of July, which is the beginning of our financial year. So we want to really thank you for coming. It is a special day because we are here to witness the installation of uh, Professor Katungu Karakshaya as our Vice-Chancellor. Professor Katunguka was reappointed as Vice-Chancellor of this university. We congratulate him and today Mr. Chancellor Sir, we are here to witness you install him as Vice-Chancellor for Chambogo University. And so it is special, special because Professor Katunguka will be installed for the first time. So it is it's special for him. But it's also special for this university. Chancellor Sir, many vice chancellors are reappointed. But for this university, this is special because it is the first time that a vice chancellor of Chambogo University is reappointed on uh, second term based on performance and merit. So we wish to congratulate Professor Katunguka for a hard earned reappointment and we would like to wish him very well with our support uh, for the term that he starts today. Chancellor Sir, on this special occasion on which we install our Vice Chancellor, would like to welcome everyone and to wish uh, you, sir, and uh, the whole entourage a successful day. May I now invite the University Secretary to read the instrument of appointment for Professor Katumuka. Thank you very much. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the former vice, the former chancellor, the minister for education, chairperson of council, and members of council, the vice chancellor, visiting vice chancellors invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I stand to read the instrument of appointment for the vice chancellor to be installed in this occasion, the instrument of appointment. In exercise of the powers conferred upon the chancellor, by section 31.2 of the universities and other tertiary institutions act 2021 as amended and on the advice of Kiambogo University Council I Professor John Okedi do hereby reappoint Professor Eli Katungoka Rakishaya as the Vice Chancellor of Kiambogo University for a final unsigned Professor John Okedi. That is the instrument of appointment. I beg to submit Mr. Chancellor.
Yes, we, as the performing arts preparers, together with the police band, to give up some uh, form of entertainment. We would like to recognize the presence of uh, the following people who have managed to be here with us. Mr. Chancellor Sir, we recognize the presence of Professor Henry he is the DVC Financial Administration. He's also the principal sedat of Makere University, but he is here representing the Vice Chancellor of Makere University. Professor Henry, you're welcome. We also welcome Professor Josephine Ashchere. You're very welcome uh, back to Chambogo University. We have other people. We have uh, Lydia Kamkama. She's uh, of the private sector. We have uh, Bjorn Abani, these are members from the private sector and they are here as our invited guests. We welcome His Lordship Lawrence Toyanze. He's the judge of the High Court and he's a resident judge of Masaka. He is the member of our University Council. You're welcome, uh, Your Lordship Lawrence Toyanze. We have Reverend Dr. Grace Rubare. He's a senior lecturer in the Department of Development Studies and he's a member of the Chambogo University Council. We also welcome Dr. Lawrence Aaron. He is the Dean of Special Needs and uh, Rehabilitation at the faculty, and he is a member of the Chamber University Council. We also welcome uh, the Rev uh, Robert Ojambo. He is the Head of the Department of History in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, and he is uh, the member of the University Council. We welcome the Professor Paul Wako. He is the Vice Chancellor of Uganda Management U Institute and he's representing Dr. James Nkata, the Director General of Uganda Management Institute. We have Dr. Sidonia Angoma Cheng. She's the Chairperson. We have the Reverend Canon, Dr. Alex Kagume. He is the Deputy Executive Director of the National Council for Higher Education. We have Professor JYT Mujisha. He is a member of our University Council. Uh, we also have uh, other deans and um, deans of faculties and uh, schools and uh, heads of departments of Chambogo University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, they are all here and uh, we, we welcome you. Now we are going to have uh, uh, entertainment by the Department of Performing Arts and they are there ready. The Department of Performing Arts entertain us. Now I 
the performing arts of Chambogu University, uh, Uganda Police. Thank, Thank you, you so, so very, very much, much. Uh, Uganda Police. This is very good. We, Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to recognize the chair of Chambogo University Academic Staff Association, Dr. Marion Mujisha, is here with us, uh, together with uh, Mr. Chigonya John Sempewa, the chair of Chusasa, that is Chambogo University uh, Senior Academic Administrative Staff Association. He is Mr. Chigonya John Sempewa. We also have the chair of NUE, that is Edgar Badije. He's also here with us. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, we also have the academic registrar, Dr. Anne Begumisa. She's here with us. 
We also have Mr. Kenneth Mbogo, the chair of Chambugo University Convocation. You are welcome. Uh, we will have uh, the DVC Finance Administration to uh, take us through the ceremony. Uh, I take the honor to present the profile of Professor Eli Katungu Kalwachishaya. In accordance with Section 31.4 of the University and Other Tertiary Institutions Act 2001 as amended, Professor Eli Katungu Kalwachishaya was uh, reappointed as Vice Chancellor Chambogo University by Professor John Okedi, the Chancellor Chambogo University, on recommendation of the University Council. Professor Katungu Karachishaya will be serving his final term of five years as the third Vice Chancellor of Chambogo University. He will be responsible to the University Council for the academic, administrative, and financial affairs of the university. Professor Katunka Rakshaya started his education at Chizoba Primary School, Wushenyi, then Makobore High School, Chishanyo, Lukungiri, for ordinary level, and later joined Intare School, Mbarara, for advanced level education. In 1980, he graduated with a Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine, upon which he was appointed a graduate fellow in the Department of Veterinary Medicine, Makerere University. He later joined University College Dublin, Republic of Ireland, and conducted research leading to a degree of Master of Veterinary Medicine in 1984. He returned to Makerere University and served as a lecturer from 1984 to 1988 and rose to the position of senior lecturer. In 1989, Professor Katungu Karachaya commenced his PhD at Glasgow University Veterinary School, leading to the award of a PhD in veterinary pastology medicine, and he was granted a Welcome Trust Fellowship that allowed him to spend three months at Glasgow Veterinary School every year for the subsequent four years while he was conducting research, publishing, and supervising PhD students, among others. Professor Katun Karachaya is a professor of veterinary medicine. He's an academic and research administrator with a wide experience in academic leadership and research management. At Makere University, he was head of the Department of Veterinary Medicine 1984-1988, Deputy Dean Faculty of Veterinary Medicine 1992-1995, Dean Faculty of Veterinary Medicine 1996-2004, and Director of Research and Graduate Training 2004-2013. Professor Katungu Karachishaya is a distinguished leader in research and research management. As director of research and graduate training at Mackay University, he attracted large research grants and project funds from development partners to support research at Mackay. Notable partners were Swedish International Development Agency, Kennedy Corporation of New York, the European Union, Welcome Trust, Danida, Irish Government, Norwegian Government, DFID and the Association of Commonwealth Universities, and many others. As a result of his experience and performance, Makere University is now a leading research institution and university in Africa and internationally. Professor Katunguka has also served as the chairman of East African Research and Innovation Management Association, IRIMA, for many years, and is the founder of Uganda Research Innovation Management Association, URIMA, 
is Executive Director of Africa Foundation for Research and Innovations Capacity Development, AFRICAD. He's Executive Member of the International Accreditation Council of the Southern African Research and Innovation Management Association. He's the Chairperson of the Steering Committee of CEDA Research Capacity Building Program to Makere University and other public universities in Uganda. Professor Katunka Bakishaya has published eight books, six chapters in books, 65 papers in peer-reviewed journals, over 70 conference proceedings, and he has participated in more than 140 international and national conferences and workshops where he has presented papers or participated as a key organizer. Professor Katunguka is a member of many national and international organizations, notably World Aquatic Animal Health Standards Commission, Society for Research Administration International, Uganda National Examinations Board, the Inter-University Council of East Africa, the National Council for Higher Education in Uganda, and the Uganda National Academy of Sciences. In 2014, Professor Katunka Rakshaya joined Chambogo University as the first Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic Affairs. In the same year, he acted as Vice Chancellor at Chambogo University for a period 2014 to 2017. And in May 2017, he was appointed as a substantive Vice Chancellor, a position he has served to date. During his first term in office, as a renowned leader in higher education management, Professor Katun Karachaya played a leading role in creating a peaceful and harmonious environment that has led to uninterrupted activities at this university. This is attributed to his leadership skills that encourage dialogue and teamwork between university management, staff, and student associations. Other key achievements include increased number of undergraduate and graduate programs, increased budget to support research and knowledge generation through competitive research and grant scheme, enhancement of ICT capacity and innovations, and establishment of Wushenyi and Sorot learning centers, among others. Professor Rakshaya, Katunka Rakshaya is married to Lady Justice Ketra Kitarisiwa Katunguka, and they are blessed with four children. Chancellor Sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to request you to invite the Chair of Council to Chancellor Sir, it is now my honor to invite the Chairperson of Council, Senior Council, uh, Sarah Luega, to present the Vice Chancellor. We shall all stand, please. Vice Chancellor, I was requested to request you to stand up, but you're already standing up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chancellor Sir, I present to you Professor Eli Katunguka Rakishaya to be installed as a Vice Chancellor of Chambogo University. Vice Chancellor.
Okay, thank you. <clears throat> By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I install you, Professor Eli Katungu Karwakishaya, as the third Vice Chancellor of Kiamago University. I affirm that I will faithfully undertake my duties as the third vice chancellor of Chambogo University, so help me God. Thank you very much. Mr. Mr. Chancellor, we are now asking you to present the instruments of power one by one. The Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. The Universities and Other Tertiary Institutions Act. The Approved Human Resource Manual. The rules of procedure of the Kiabogo University Council and the newly approved strategic plan for Kiambogo University 2020-21-2024-25. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. We can uh, now resume our seats and relax. We have the Vice Chancellor and he's installed. Congratulations, Professor. I congratulate you, Professor Eli Katungu Karwakishaya, upon your appointment. Congratulations. Okay. We will now have the performing arts entertain us, and the police band will also give us a number.
Thank you very much, the police band. We shall have uh, another entertainment from the performing arts.
thank you very much the performing art the police band for the entertainment we are now going to have uh, speeches this is the session for speeches and uh, mr chancellor sir permit me to invite the vice chancellor to make his maiden inaugural speech the newly installed vice chancellor professor you're welcome Uh, the Director, Higher Technical Vocational Education and Training, representing the Honorable Minister of Education and Sports, Dr. Jenny Gao. The Deputy Executive Director, National Council for Education, representing the ED. The Chancellor, Chambogo University, Professor Yakobo John Okedi. The former Chancellor, Professor John Pankras Tebufu. The former Vice Chancellor, Professor Luther Robosa, I don't know whether he has come. The Chairperson of Chambogo University Council, the Vice Chairperson of Chambogo University Council, and all members of Council who are present. The Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, I recognize you colleagues from Guru, Bustema, Makerere. You are most welcome. Members of top management, before, before members of top management, I want to recognize the former chairpersons of council, Chambogo University Council. With us is Mr. James Kalebo, who served the council for many years, moving from UMI to Chambogo. James, you are most welcome. And the chair of the staff tribunal, Mr. Wante. The members of top management, my colleagues, the DVCs, Fabian, Professor Fabian Navgomu and Professor Maria Msoke, the US and other members of top management, the members of Senate, the deans of faculties and schools, the heads of departments, leaders of religious organizations, I recognize the chaplains of Kakumba, Uganda Matters Chapel, the Imam and the pastor of the SDA Church, the leaders of the staff associations, Chuasa, Chusasa, and Noe. In a special way, we want to recognize my wife, Lady Justice Ketra Katunguka, <laughs> members of my family, my brothers, sisters, my children, my friends. I'll have an opportunity to introduce you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I recognize all of you in respective capacities. First, I want to thank God for today. I want to thank God for having brought us this day. I want to thank God for his mercies upon us, and especially for keeping us safe through the period of COVID that hit this country in the early part of 2020. Many people known to us lost their lives, and others got seriously sick, but we are spared, and we are here to witness this uh, momentous occasion. Your Honorable Minister, represented by the Director H. T. Vitt, I want to thank you for sparing your time to come and join us today, and also represent the Honorable Minister of Education and Sports. I thank the Minister and of education and sports for her continued guidance and personal interest in the affairs of Chambogo University. Through her personal efforts, we have been able to secure the university land and to get more funds made available to us through her contacts with the Minister of Finance. I want you to extend our heartfelt thanks to her for continued support and also thank her for from time to time, bringing us the guest of the head of state as the guest of honor on many of our graduation functions. We appreciate her continued guidance. Mr. Chancellor, sir, 
I congratulate you upon your recent appointment to this very prestigious position. You earned it by your long-standing academic career over very many years, which earned you national and international recognition. I thank you for your personal guidance when you are the chairperson of the council 2012 to 2020. And it was during that time that you appointed me vice chancellor for the first term. And for the period 2014 to 2020, we worked very closely to transform the university. I thank you for your parental approach to solving problems, which apparently were very many at that time. And by the time your chairpersonship of council ended, the university had been placed in a very secure position. So one thank you, Professor John Yakobo Okedi. I recognize the presence of the former chancellor, Professor John Pankras Sebofu. Thank you, Professor Sebofu, for believing in me and for mentoring me in leadership right from the time we were in Makere way back in 2004 when I was a member of council representing the staff while you served as the vice chancellor. We worked very closely and caused many changes in both the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine and in the Directorate of Research and Graduate Training under your guidance. I thank God for your simple character, being approachable, and a good humorous human being. May God bless you. Professor Sebouf laughs, likes a laugh, hearty laughter. If you can tell him a joke, and he laughs for very long hours and minutes, and that cheers him up a little bit. When I mention the names of Professor John Okedi and Professor Sebufu, I can only remember the message by His Excellency the President to Chambogo University at the launch of the Higher Education Loan Scheme. At that time, the walls of the university were quite clear. The university had gone through a lot of uh, troubled time with the former Vice Chancellor, and many wars were fought here. In his speech, the President wondered why educated people cannot sit down and resolve their differences rather than resorting to fighting. He said that he had now found medicine for the troubles at Chambogo University by appointing Professor John Sebufu, then Chancellor, Professor John Okedi, and Professor Katunguka, whom he knew from Makerere. He said in his words, if these three do not stabilize Chambogo University, then we shall go to the witch doctors to find out who bewitched Chambogu. At the graduation of 2019, I reminded him of this statement, and I'm glad that Chambogu University is now fairly stable, so we don't need to go to the witch doctors. I thank the chairperson, Chambogu University Council, Dr. Mary Gorete Nakabugo, the vice chairperson, senior council, Sarah Rwega, and all other council members for finding me suitable to run for a final term of office. I've gone through annual performance appraisals by the chairpersons of council, and all of them were positive and convincing. I've had a good working relationship with the council, though sometimes issues emerge that threaten to divide us, but they are resolved in an amicable manner. I thank Dr. Goretti, who has not been able to be here this morning, for her belief in me and for the long time we worked together in Makerere. I also thank all members of the fourth and the fifth councils with whom we have worked. Let me give you a comment about the past five years. As, I was, as mentioned, I was appointed vice chancellor in March 2017, but I took office in May 2017. So my five-year term came to an end on 14th May. During my first term, the university registered numerous successes. For the first time, the university was running smoothly with no significant strikes from staff and students, and there has been great teamwork among top managers, which has resulted in a number of accomplishments. Frequent consultations and meetings with teaching and non-teaching staff associations have led to resolutions of the problems 
before they escalate into strikes. I think in many universities, universities do, university leadership does not recognize the role of staff associations, and they pay a very big price for that. Staff associations have control of their people, and in order for you to create peace, you must find a way of bringing them to your side, which is sometimes not easy. But we tried, and we managed to have a peaceful atmosphere. I was also able to maintain a harmonious working relationship between management and the council, and where there were a few merging issues, I got out of my way to reach out to members of both organs to ensure peace and harmony, which are essential for delivering services to our stakeholders. As a result of the peaceful situation on campus over these years, teaching and learning continued and interrupted. Members of staff continued doing research and were able to graduate students annually. Some key achievements we have registered, I'll just run through them in the interest of time. We have seen increasing numbers of programs, both undergraduate and graduate programs on offer, including 10 PhD programs. For the first time, the university is running PhD programs. And we are able to graduate the first doctorate students in 2019. I've always told my colleagues that a university must do research and conduct, conduct research, train PhDs, so that you distinguish yourself from glorified secondary schools by producing knowledge. And I'm glad the university has embraced this one. We have noted increased numbers of students graduating from both the university annually, both undergraduate and undergraduate programs. We have realized increased budget to support research and knowledge generation. And we introduced a competitive research grant scheme where members of staff write proposals, they compete for the money, they are given the money, they conduct research, they publish, and out of their research output, they grow academically. We have constructed new buildings and renovated old ones. If you move around, you will see a number of new buildings. We are able to overhaul the total sewage system connecting it to the National Water and Sewage Corporation system. In the past, poor sanitation was always the cause of student discontent, and that caused a lot of problems. We constructed new roads, the university gates on campus, and we have tried to improve the lighting system to improve the security of students, especially those who study in the evenings and in the night. We have enhanced ICT capacity, leading to the university-wide connectivity with hot spots and increased use of ICT in teaching and learning, administration, and also in the management of our finances. This has caused a major shift from manual systems to using our systems, ACMIS and the rest. Because right now you can know how much money is coming into the university, right from your desk on the, on the office. If you ask many universities, they will tell you different figures of students. The academic registrar will tell you there are different figures. The BASA has a different figure, and the U.S. has a different figure. But with the systems, you are able to know the total number of students you have and the amount of finances that's coming in. We developed the number of policies and guidelines to direct the management of the university. Among these, we have a new strategic plan financial management manual. We have a comprehensive human resources management manual. Without this, there will be trouble in the university. This manual provides how people join the university, how they are promoted, and how they are dismissed. So once that is clear, then everybody knows their position. We also introduced a policy, which I think was one of the best policies under Professor Okedi, the outsourcing of catering services. Most troubles in universities originate from the quality and the quantity of food. Because you can never satisfy human beings regarding the quality and the quantity of food, especially students. So this was a problematic area until we outsourced catering services. Students get their money, they are able to eat from wherever they want. Those who want to eat will eat, those who don't want to eat, that's their liberty. That has caused a lot of peace in the university. 
The university has a comprehensive medical insurance scheme. This scheme provides insurance to, for, to about six members in the family. The man and hopefully the wife, because th these days things have changed. So the man and the wife and four other dependents of the family. And so good, it has caused a lot of peace in the university. We have a new harmonized structure for the university. We had the old structure which was not able to cater for our needs, so we came up with a new structure which we are going to start implementing, and it will last about five years. We have a comprehensive staff development and recruitment system, and this has seen a marked increase in academic staff with the doctorates and broad staff establishment to about 61% according to the old structure. And many academic staff members have been promoted to senior lecturers, associate professors and professors, though a lot needs to be done. We still need many, many professors to provide academic and research leadership. We introduced the graduate fellow scheme. This is where we identify the best performing undergraduate students at graduation. Those who got first class or second class upper and we retain them here and mentor them into the new crop of academics. And this is really promising to fill the, the gaps in the, in the establishment. The image of the university has been enhanced through, among others, highly demanded programs, modernizing our website and being available, community outreach programs, like I'm sure you have seen our students of my medical engineering, going out to have clinics in various hospitals in Uganda. All these have led to better rankings and greater preference of Chambogu graduates for employment. When you go out and you talk to people, they will tell you they prefer Chambogu University graduates to other universities. My colleagues, the vice chancellors, this is not for you. But, but they tell us they prefer Chambogu University graduates. Having achieved all these did not mean that we would not have challenges. We had a number of challenges. One was limited financial support to the university. Because every time government cuts the budgets, the university funding also suffers. We encountered challenges with eviction of squatters. We have a lot of squatters on the university land here, totaling over 250. And we have found it difficult to remove them without spoiling the political scene, the political environment. So we'll find a way of getting them off in, a, in a, an amicable manner. I don't know whether that, that will be possible. Attempts to, to get funding from government to remove asbestos roofing from a number of buildings have not been successful. Many of our buildings are still covered with asbestos. And as you know, asbestos has been uh, declared a health hazard. So we are we're going to work with many organizations to see how best we can remove this asbestos. And another challenge we have is inappropriate funding model to public universities. Universities are treated like local government and all other government agencies. We have tried to explain to government that we give unique services which are time bound and government, I think, has not listened, but we are going to continue pushing for that. So in the next term of office, which is the next five years, I've told people that this is my last lap. When you are running a relay, you know, you reserve the fastest person for the last lap. So this is my last lap, and I've called upon my colleagues to come and run with me the last lap. I hope they are getting ready to do that. So in the next five years, we have committed ourselves to enhancing resource mobilization. We want to be able to mobilize money from the assets and other opportunities we have for the university and reduce the dependence on government funding. We intend to enhance the use of ICT in teaching and learning, and also improve the way ICT 
is employed, especially within our learning centers. We have learning centers in Soroti and Usheni, and constant movement to teach there has become a problem. So we are working out a scheme to be able to teach those centers from here. And it's possible, it's being done. We'll continue working on improvement of physical infrastructure. We need to have new modern lecture rooms, modern conference rooms, modern computer laboratories, because the number of computers, the number of students we have is not adequate. We have about 34,000 students on this campus, and that's a big number, and they all need computers to be able to study. Then we are going to focus on student-related issues. What are the issues affecting students? How are they being taught? How are they assessed? Their results, the time it takes to, for them to come out, and all other issues including discipline. And then implementation of the new structure, and our efforts will continue to secure the university land on campus and also in Mukono. Land is becoming very sweet these days. Everybody who sees a, a patch of land wants to take it. You know the issues we had with KCCA. I hope they will not come back with their graders, but we shall continue efforts to secure the university land. The achievements I've enumerated above were reali realized as a result of collective efforts of members of top management, the deans of faculties and schools, the heads of departments, the teaching and non-teaching staff, all working closely under the oversight of council. I want to thank all these groups and encourage them to do more in the next five years. I appreciate the support given the university by the government of Uganda under the wise leadership of His Excellency General Kaguta Iwari Museveni and he has promised continued support. Lastly, as I come to the end of my remarks, I want to thank my family members and my friends for being there for me these years of my professional development. Special thanks to my wife, Lady Jasketwa Katunguka, for creating an environment that allows me to work peacefully all the time. And that environment is important in the home. And she has created that environment. We have been married for 35 years, and we are still continuing. She's a very prayerful lady. She prays for me and prays for Chambogo and fasts for Chambogo when it has issues. And she's an expert in the PPP, public-private partnerships. So when you, council members, when you see me talking as an expert on PPPP, you know where I got the wisdom from. Thank you very much for being there for me all these years, and I look forward to many more years. I want to thank my children, but I, I didn't introduce my wife. She's seated here next to me. I want to thank my children who have been very supportive and concerned about my well-being. Many of them are now adults with their own families, for which I want to thank God. And they have made me a grandfather, a grandpa, a title I like very much. So I want to introduce you some of these family members who are here. Let me start with Dr. Castro and Alexandra Chisure, who are here. Alexandra is my daughter, and she brought us Dr. Kisude. Next is Mr. Ralph Akwarabirunji. He hasn't told me why he didn't come with his wife, but he's married to Masse Akwarabirunji. Next is Alan and Lisa Tayewa. Lisa is my daughter. I can see they're asking us to whether we need extra cash. Yes, we do. They are business people investing in financial services. And in absentia, we have our fourth child, Randwa Ayebare, who is in school. I want to thank my brothers and sisters, both from Kararu Igara and from Chobu and Tungamo. These people have been part of our lives, and they are more than brothers to me, and they are friends as well. I want to introduce my brother, 
Mr. Aron Mahirwe and his wife, Juliet Mahirwe. That is the man I follow. When he left the breast, I, I snatched it. Then I also want to introduce um, Medias Asimwe, Mrs. Medias Asimwe. That is my sister. She's the one who follows me. We, we fought a little bit when we were young, but we are now friends. I also want to introduce Let me introduce my other brothers. Mr. Boaz Bohamzo is my brother and my friend. These are brothers to my wife, but they are also my brothers in earnest. Mr. Bani Biona, you are most welcome. Engineer Dr. and Mrs. Bernard Buwezi. When I was chatting with Bernard, he said he's the one who constructed that, that building, the administration block. I was trying to pose it on him that the office, my office is big. He said I'm the one who built it. <laughs> and I was humbled. Mr. Beri Abashave. Mr. Beri Abashave is a business person. I also want to introduce my friend. I think I was going to speak about him. Let me wait. Reverend Canon Ebong and his wife. Now, Reverend Canon Ebong is our friend. He comes here from, he was a chaplain in Makerere, and he used to pray quite a lot for me. So, and he continues to pray and fast for Chambogo. So when you see some peace here, it's because some people are interceding for us. And he's one of them. I want to introduce Donam Kamukama. Donam is my sister. I think the husband is busy. She didn't come. He didn't come. I don't know whether Jerome is here. Jerome? Jerome is my son. He's an engineer. And he works with one of the ministries in government. I hope I have not forgotten anybody. Then I want to introduce my friend, Professor Christopher Wira Kiki, my very old time friend. And he's here with his daughter, Linda. Yes, you're most welcome. We worked with Professor Rubiri way back in the 1980s when we were very young people. We are no longer very young. He's a professor of veterinary parasitology, having graduated from the University of Nairobi before vet medicine moved to Makerere. Thank you for being part of my life and enduring my torment over the years. He's a calm man. He comes from Toro. He's much calmer than me. Those years, I was not calm, but I'm now very calm. <laughs> Age has taken its effect. But many times he, he told me, it gained on Paula. So I sometimes describe him as my tranquilizer, which has worked very well. Okay, so this is a happy occasion for me, and my reappointment has enhanced my brand to a large extent. And for the first time, I've been a celebrity for a few weeks on TV. Everybody wants to talk to me, and I don't resist that. I invite them, they come and we talk. So thank you, council members, for improving my brand. I have my brother, Boaz Bamzo, is the one who always talks about your brand, that you must create a brand and nurture it. So I think this is what is happening. Lastly, I want to thank the organizing committee, led by Associate Professor Fabian Nabogomo, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, the U.S., uh, Dr. Lawrence Heron, and uh, Arthur Katongore, and members of my office. I want to thank you very much for working tirelessly
to create this very successful occasion. I want to thank the Uganda police for your music. People love you. People love the police band. They, they love the music. On a private occasion, I'll come to ask you to give me your tips for instrumental music. I like music, and I used to dance quite a lot. And also, the Department of Performing Arts. Thank you very much for your music, for your dancing. And you made the occasion very colorful. So lastly, I want to wish everyone here a very good time. Enjoy yourselves and let us be happy. And may God bless you richly. For those of you who have been invited to the dinner, uh, we will meet again in the evening at the dinner dance, and you can come with your dancing shoes. We'll see whether you still have those strokes. So may God bless you, each one of you, knowledge and skills for service and for God and my country. Thank you. Last year, on a sad note, I want to announce the death of our colleague, uh, the VC of Muni, Professor Christine Ranzua, which occurred a few days ago. There will be a funeral service for her this afternoon in Makerere, and we want to join the members in condoling, condoling with them and pray that God rest her soul in eternal peace. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. Thank you very much, the Vice Chancellor. And now, the police band. When the leading brand appreciates you, the MC gives you an opportunity to play. Here we go. Thank you very much, the Uganda police, for that beautiful uh, music. Mr. Vice Chancellor Sir, allow me to request you to invite the chair council to give her speech. Thank you. It's now my honor to invite you, Vice Chair of Council, to come and give your remarks. Chambogo University Council is the only council in the country that is led by two ladies, both the chair and the vice. So we are monitoring their performance, and we shall write a report. Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor. How am I today?
our chief guest, the director of higher education in the Ministry of Education, Dr. Jane Egao, who's representing the Ministry of Education, the Chancellor at Chambago University, Professor John Okedi, the former Chancellor at Chambago University, Professor John Pangra Sebofu, the chairperson, myself, and members of the council. Thank you for being here. The former chairperson council, Mr. James Kalebo, the vice chancellor of Chambogo University, Professor Eli Katumuka Rakshaya, the vice chancellors and deputy vice chancellors of other universities present, deputy vice chancellors of Chamboko University, members of Senate and top man management, heads of academic departments, distinguished guests and leaders of staff, associations, and union, the clergy present today, family and friends of Professor Erika Tunguka Rakshaya, especially my Lord, Lady Justice Ketra Katunguka, greetings from the chairperson of council, Dr. Boretti Nakabuko. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to Chambogo University on this occasion of inaugurating Professor Erika Tunguka Rakshaya as Vice Chancellor. I'm humbled to convey to you all the warm greetings and those of the entire University Council and the University community. We feel highly honored by your presence with us here today and feel quite appreciated. Our chief guest, allow me to congratulate Professor John Okedi for being appointed Chancellor of Chambogo University. <laughs> Professor Okedi was appointed to the highest office in the university after serving as chairperson in council for eight years. During his tenure, the university witnessed peace, which enabled a number of developments to be accomplished. Thank you, Professor Okedi. Our chief guest, ladies and gentlemen, in 2017, the vice chancellor signed a performance contract with the university council. This performance contract was meant to develop annual performance contracts, which formed a basis for assessment of his annual performance. I'm happy to report that when the former chairperson of council and the current chairperson evaluated the performance of Professor Eli Katunguka, Rakshaya during his first term, his overall performance was excellent. This was witnessed by the improved infrastructure and road network, improved teaching and learning, calmness at the university, and staff welfare, among others. On the 10th of March 2022, Council agreed to recommend the reappointment of Professor Eli Katunguka Rakshaya as Vice Chancellor at Chambago University for a final term of five years with effect from May 17th, 2022. During the previous term of office, Professor Katunguka demonstrated unique skills within and beyond the university. He was accessible through an open door policy and did not compartmentalize staff based on rank. Professor Katunguka also did not discriminate on grounds of social strata, gender, age, color, or other social, cultural, economical, and political categories. This I found fundamental to an agenda that is culturally diverse and a core aspiration for universities in the 21st century. I'm delighted to observe that Professor Eli Katunguka is a consistent and hands-on go-getter. Nothing in the interest of the university is beyond his reach. He is a great mobilizer who puts together human, technical, and financial, financial resources to achieve all the institution's goals without fail. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the Bible states in Luke 12:48, to whom much is given, much is expected. As council, we expect that the next five years will be used to consolidate the gains already made in the implementation of the strategic plan. As you may be aware, the Fifth University Council approved a new five-year strategic plan running from 2020-21 to 2024-25. And we expect you, Vice Chancellor, to guide council in this, its implementation. My council shall continue to accord you all the support you need to execute the university mandates. Ladies and gentlemen, institutions are a, 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 conglomeration, a, conglo, a conglomeration of people, processes, and resources that should be managed delicately to realize performance. Great institutions are built and sustained by great leaders who understand and implement their fundamentals. Moreover, if such institutions have leaders who have re real managerial skills, the sky is the limit for their growth and development. In Professor Katunguka, Chambogo University found not just a manager, but also a great leader. One who, besides being in possession of such attributes, is a powerful vision bearer and a positive change agent. Our guest of honor, with Professor Eli Katungu Kachambogo, the university is headed for a new and progressive horizon. Under his stewardship, Chambogo University will stride into new frontiers that will remain memorable in the annals of its history. On behalf of council and on my own behalf, I congratulate Professor Erika Kutunguka and also congratulate Chambogo University for this important appointment. Knowledge and skills for service for God and my country. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for coming. I also thank the police band. I know the family of the Katungukas love dancing and they love music. So I'm not surprised that you are here. I thank the family of Professor Katunguka warmly. Thank you so much for being there with him always. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much.
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I request you humbly to come and address the congregation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor, uh, Vice Chair of Council, uh, the guest of honor, uh, Dr. Jane Gaud, Director of Education, of Higher Education, representing the Ministry of Education. Uh, Professor John Sebufu, outgoing. Chancellor of Kiambogo University. The Vice Chancellor of Kiambogo University, Professor Eli Katunguka, and your dear wife and family. Vice Chancellors, Deputy Vice Chancellors of other sister universities and institutions. Deputy Vice Chancellors of Kiambogo University, Heads of Academic Departments, Top Management Senate, Leaders of staff associations and the union, the clergy, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this historic function held today on the 1st of July. A guest of honor, allow me to convey my special appreciation to His Excellency, the President of Uganda, for appointing me as a Chancellor of Kiambogo University. It is an assignment I received with a sense of honor and humility. It proves what uh, Vice Chancellor said. His Excellency gave the three of us an assignment, Professor John Sebufu, Professor Katunguka, and myself, an assignment to pacify Kiambogo University. And I think it is because of the success of that assignment that His Excellency appointed me as Chancellor of Kiambogo University. <laughs> In the same vein, permit me to thank the University Council under the leadership of Dr. Marigoretti Nakabugo for the confidence they showed in me when they recommended me for appointment. Ladies and gentlemen, in days to come, we will focus and determine and focus on determining the future of Kiambogo University. But for now, allow me to congratulate Professor Katunguka upon his reappointment as Vice Chancellor of the University. Today, I feel honored to speak about Professor Katunguka. Like it has been said, in 2014, in his 2014 2014, the president of Uganda uh, uh, assigned Professor Sebufu, myself, and Professor Katunguka the responsibility that I've just said. Those were turbulent times for Kiambogo University. Indeed, it was a miracle that Kiambogo was saved from going into, into, into more, more or less death. But today, I stand here to applaud the Vice Chancellor, Professor Katunguka, for providing good leadership to the university that has ensured that we fulfill the task given by the head of state. During this period, the university has enjoyed calmness, which has allowed the university to fulfill its core mandate of teaching, learning, research, and community outreach. I must say, that as a former chairperson of council, I had an opportunity to appraise Dr. Professor Katunguka from 2017, 2017 to 2019, and I found his, pres his, his performance excellent. It's not surprising, therefore, that council found it fit to unanimously reappoint him for the second term of five years as vice chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate this important achievement for Professor Katunguka at the University, 
allow me to point out that worsening economic conditions at the dawn of COVID-19 pandemic have occasioned growing skepticism about the value of a university degree. As you may be aware, there are legitimate concerns about accessibility and affordability exacerbated by real economic challenges facing families across the country. Parents and students want to know if the returns on the investment will be worth the cost of a university degree. I know today in Uganda, everybody wants to have a degree. This is true, which is very good. But while most Ugandans believe that the value of higher education is significant, a number of people are now less convinced <laughs> that it is actually worth it. Why? You know the reason. Now the paper degree does not land you into wealth, employment, and comfort. Our chief guest, ladies and gentlemen, it's only fair that we reflect on this phenomenon and be able to provide an environment for restoring hope amongst Ugandans about the value of higher education. However, the value of higher education is indisputable. And for many Cambogos students, it's literally a matter of life and death. But our pedagogical approach, the way that we teach, is experience-based. That is true across every degree program in the university. Our engineers, teachers, and scientists are able to make their hands dirty to get the job done. Experience, experience, experiential learning helps to nurture the skills that are critical in a world where jobs are increasingly being lost to artificial intelligence. In other words, we foster the skills for human interaction. That has been true since our founding and continues to be true today. And we should be committed to this mission. But in the next five to 10 years, we must better, we must do better at it. Guests of honor, the university is very grateful to the government of Uganda for the continued assistance, especially in the area of improved staff salaries, infrastructure, buildings, equipment, furniture, and other forms of grants. However, like the Vice Chancellor said, the funds allocated are still highly inadequate to meet the requirements like recruitment of full-time teaching staff that will be more reliable in times in, ta in timely teaching, marking, and release of student results. The budget is still very constrained because it heavily relies on internally generated resources. This is unstable and impacts on our ability, our ability to set targets. We continue to request government to consider increasing the size of grants to the university. At this juncture, I wish to assure Professor Katongu and Council of my commitment to provide guidance whenever needed to create an environment for the advancement and promotion of, promotion of knowledge and development of skills in science, technology, and education for the progress and transformation of our society. Yes, it's been said this is the second term reappointment of Professor Katongoka. Reappointment in the second term means continuity. We are not making a new beginning. But indeed, ladies and gentlemen, as you've heard, there has been a lot achieved by Professor Katunguka Council, the teaching staff, the non-teaching staff, the associations. Together, they have made, they have made tremendous achievements in the Kiambogo University. But these achievements have come to a, a sudden stop when Professor Katunguka's term came to an end. So this term, the second term, the renewal, one hopes that it is a term that will enable Professor Katunguka and his team to continue, not as business as usual, but really to make sure that the unfinished business is finished. 
there is a lot of unfinished business in their core activities and mandate. Indeed, one can say Kiambu has excelled even in the area of teaching and learning. But I have been involved in Kiambu for a long time. I'm not satisfied that we have made strides and successes in the area of research and innovation. A university will not stand as a university simply because of teaching. Like the professor said, then you become a glorified higher school. This we must avoid by refocusing our attention to the area of research and innovation. The area of community involvement is very, very important for the university. These are areas which I think will be adequately addressed because Professor Katunguka, one of his special uh, qualifications, experience, and involvement has been in the area of research, not only in Makerere, but globally, regionally, and here in Uganda. So I am confident, ladies and gentlemen, that this unfinished business will be adequately addressed by Professor Katunguka because the university will only survive through its research and innovations. That's when you'll make a name as a university. In my concluding remarks, guest of honor, I wish to thank you and, your, in your, and all of you guests in your various capacities for everything that you are doing for Kiambogo University. I'm particularly pleased that this congregation today smallest maybe, is a congregation of very highly qualified people from all walks of life, and I'm really happy that you came to honor and grace the occasion that we're experiencing today. But this is what a university is all about. This is why we are here. Members of the academics, members of, of, uh, of universities who are supposed to be at the forefront the forefront of learning, teaching, education, and innovation and research. So I'm really happy, yes of honor, that all of you have come to grace this occasion. Once again, I con congratulate Professor Katunguka and wish him well in the next five years. We are very fortunate he has a very strong person behind him in a person no less than her justice and behind, as the English say, behind a successful man, there must be a great woman. So we thank you, Madam <laughs> Justice, for the support you're giving to Professor and the support you're giving to the family. We wish the rest of our ladies do the same. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I wish you a good stay, enjoy yourselves. But before I end, I also wish to thank the band of the police, uh, performing arts. You have made this occasion not only graceful, but sweet and enjoyable. <laughs> the police often, if you read the papers like I do, some bad remarks are made about police. But you can now see that the police is made of very good people, men and women of honor. <laughs> very smart, very orderly, very peaceful. So we are really very happy about the police and we thank you for everything that you are doing for us in this country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to end here and wish you a very successful day. Thank you very much. And before I stop here, I wish to take the honor and opportunity to invite uh, the chief guest, Madam uh, Dr. Grace, uh, Grace uh, Egao, who is representing the Ministry of Education. She is the Director of Higher Education in the Ministry, a person who is extremely respected in the Ministry, a person with a lot of responsibilities, and she has a very good knowledge about uh, higher education 
including Kiambogo University. So, Madam Dr. Jane Gao, you are most welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chancellor Kiambogo University, uh, Professor Yakobu Okedi. I'd like to recognize uh, the former Chancellor Chambogo University, Professor John Sebufu, the Ch Vice Chancellor Chambogo University, Eli Katunguka, and your entire family and friends, Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, Chairperson and Members of Council, Members of Top Management and Senate, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Jane Gaoko is my name, Director for Higher Education and Technical Education at the Ministry of Education and Sports. I'm here to represent the Minister and I'm happy to do so. All of us know the Ministers are out in the field, but her heart is sincerely here and she sends you very, very warm greetings. On her behalf, I want to say how pleased we are to be part of this momentous occasion to witness the installation of the Vice Chancellor of Chambogo University, Professor Eli Katunguka uh, Rakishaya. I congratulate Professor Katunguka for being reappointed as Vice Chancellor of Chambogo University for a period May 2022 to May 2027. And all these are minister's words to say, may God guide you during your second term of office, Professor. I will thank Professor for the academic, institutional, and selfless le leadership of this great university. The calmness and remarkable achievements registered at the university during the last five years are all testimony to this leadership. And to thank the council for re recommending reappointment of Professor Katunguka because it is good practice to accord exceptional leaders another opportunity to continue serving institutions when their first term of office ends, as long as the law allows. I am confident that Chambogo University will continue to register tremendous success during this second term, and his last term, of course, as has already been said. I want to take this opportunity to pay tribute to the former Chancellor, Professor John Pankras Sebufu, who served the university diligently during his two terms of office. I also congratulate Professor John Okedi for having been appointed Chancellor, Chambogo University, from April 2022 to April 2026. Congratulations, uh, Chancellor. It is my prayer, Professor Katonguka, that as you begin your second term of office, you will purpose to leave a good legacy by performing better than you did during your first term. This is possible if you work with a focus to diligently fulfill the aspirations as you clearly outlined in your application letter for reappointment. You've mentioned resource mobilization, enhancement of ICT to facilitate e-learning, physical infrastructure improvement and development, strengthening the Directorate of Research and Graduate Training, and implementation of the new structure where your strategic choices. With support from your chancellor, Professor John Okedi, University Council under the leadership of Dr. Mary Goretti Nakabugo, and your management team, we will be able to continue and we will assure that you will be able to transform Chambogo University beyond where it is now. As the economy of Uganda gradually recovers from the effects of COVID-19, the national resource envelope remains limited, yet there are numerous critical needs that government must address. This explains why government ministries, departments, and agencies continue to have unfunded priorities year in, year out. I am particularly impressed that one of your focus, strategic focus areas during this term is resource mobilization through public-private partnerships to supplement government subvention. I've already been told that you're a very good mobilizer, and I want to say this is a move in the right direction, but must be done cautiously 
for the institution to benefit maximally. Let us work together to ensure that the university gets a good deal out of any PPP arrangement. Since Madam is an expert in this, I'm sure you have all the support and guidance that you need. When the country went into lockdown, ladies and gentlemen, most education institutions adopted electronic means to continue teaching and learning during this period. This has become the new normal, although it comes at a cost, since teachers require computers to develop learning content, while the learners require the computers or the smartphones and internet connectivity to access the learning materials. Government began and will continue to support this mode of education through rural electrification and provision of electricity at affordable prices, subsidizing internet for education purposes and providing computers and laptops to government institutions. Government institutions of learning. Chambogo University has already partly benefited from this scheme and I am glad that enhancement of ICT to facilitate e-learning is another area of focus during this term of office of Professor Katunguka. I want to commend you for signing an MOU with ABSA Bank to provide low-cost computers and laptop to staff and students of Chambogo University. The staff and students should really take advantage of this scheme. Going forward, your science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and agriculture to support government strategy of attaining economic independence I want to congratulate you for the recent STEAM festival where numerous innovations were exhibited and many people got excited about the STEAM uh, in general. I encourage you to do more of these and also ensure that such innovations are commercialized. We have many in innovations that remain at early stages and they are not known and they are not useful to the community. We want to encourage commercialization of these innovations so that they are useful to the communities that we serve. As you strive to become a research-led university, I want to urge you to develop relevant academic programs that address the country's needs and deliberately also attract and retain staff who are interested and are engaged in scientific research to provide solutions to Uganda's pro problems. We cannot develop without research, and we will rely on the university to give us the solutions to our problems. You also intend, and you have said it, to implement the approved university structure. This will indeed be realized in a paced manner because it has financial implications. I hope you have an approved recruitment plan that is clear and structural first. This should be presented to government for consideration to enable it plan to increase the university wage bill to implement the new structure. Mm. As I conclude, I want to say it again, because I've said it before, that government is committed to enhancing the salaries of its employees. I have been informed of a pending industrial action by university staff due to delayed salary enhancement. I request staff to be patient and continue serving since government is working to ensure that their salaries are enhanced. I therefore ask you to work with your university council to ensure that the staff of Chambogo University continue working as government identifies sources of funds to enhance their salaries. There is total government commitment to increasing and to enhancing the salaries of its civil servants. Once again, Professor Katunguka, I want to congratulate you on, upon your reappointment as Vice Chancellor of Chambogo University for a period May 2022 to May 2027. The Government of Uganda looks forward to a good working relationship with you. May God grant you wisdom and guide you as you serve this nation for God and my country.
Thank, Thank you very much, much the police band, band will have, have uh, the chance to deserve the congregation. Thank you. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I dissolve this special assembly of the installation ceremony of the third vice chancellor of Kiambogo University.
uh, police band. We are going to have uh, the Reverend Canon Dr. Ebong lead us in a closing prayer. Then we shall have a, a photo of the family of the VC and friends. Then we shall have the same picture with members of the University Council, top management and Senate. Photographers, be ready as Canon Ebong comes to lead in the concluding prayer. Let's pray. Almighty and most loving God, we thank you for this day. It's a day that you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life that you have bestowed upon all of us. And above all, today, we are here on a very special occasion of installing your servant, Eli. Father, we want to thank you. For you have said in your word that you are photos for the family and friends here, the VC, the Chancellor, and, and then the family and friends. And from there, we shall have the photo with the members of the University Council, Senate, and top management. Members of the family of the Vice Chancellor, please come and take a photo. Members of the family and friends, all members of the family and friends, the photo, photo moment. We, it's the photo of the vice chancellor's family and friends. And uh, the police will band, will lead uh, the chancellor's procession from this installation square to the main building. We are in a photo moment. It is the family and friends of the vice chancellor. Family and friends. Very good family and friends. Then we shall have the members of the University Council after the family. We shall have members of the University Council take the photo. And then after the Council, we shall have the Senate, members of the University Senate, and then top management. Members of the University Council are up for the photo moment.
it's the university council moment and uh, they are taking uh, a photo they will be followed by the university senate and then top management Thank you, members of the University Council. It is Senate photo moment. Senate, members of the University Senate. Members of the University Senate are here for a photo moment. It's a Senate photo moment. And that will be followed by top management. Top managers will follow after the Senate. Top management, this is your photo moment. Members of top management. Members of top management getting ready for the photo moment. Thank you very much. Now the Chancellor's possession is going to leave the, uh, the installation square led by the police band. There is lunch here in the tent next, but the vice chancellors from other universities and other degree awarding in higher institutions, the executive directors and their representatives, the members of council, the former chairperson of Chambogo University Council, the chairperson staff tribunal, family members and friends, then Reverend Canon Ebong and Professor Rubad. You are going to escort the vice chancellor. As the chancellor's possession leaves the installation square, led by the Uganda police band, the vice chancellor's the executive directors and representatives, members of the University Council, former chairpersons of Chambogo University Council, and the chairperson of the staff tribunal, all family members, Canon Ebong and Professor Rubare, you will escort the vice chancellor as, 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 you will escort the vice chancellor as the chancellor's possession leaves the installation square. The Chancellor's possession is leaving the installation square. 
led by the Uganda police band. The vice chancellor, particularly the head of the representative, the members of the council, the former chairperson of the chamber of council, the chairperson of the staff tribunal, family members, Colonel Bong and Professor Lubari, we request you to support the vice chancellor. And the here there is lunch, so don't leave without lunch.